battery and battery tray removed, fuel filter removed, fuel pump pushed to the back. And this is the eyelet where at the end of the threaded rod is going to connect to and then the beam across the car. So it will support the weight of the gearbox as it's lowered. The gear linkage cable is removed by inserting a 13mm spanner under the cable and prising off and repeating on the smaller cable using 10mm spanner. Once the engine is supported by a jack under the sump taking the weight, remove the gearbox mounting bolts, take off this bracket and then drop the gearbox from this reading of 4 inch to 8 inch. This will give sufficient clearance for the gearbox to come under the near side bulkhead. As you can see here I've actually had to lower the one side of the engine block down sufficiently to be able to clear the gearbox from fouling the actual part of the sh body of the car. Uh, it actually is, is fine and it's just under a jack underneath. Uh, so once the engine is lowered sufficiently to allow this to happen, the weight of the gearbox is taken up on this nut. Then all the bolts out, the bell housing are taken out and slowly this wood is pulled towards the near side of the car which will move the gearbox towards the near side and away from the pressure plate. Once cleared of the pressure plate then this nut is slowly wound up the threaded shaft and the gearbox will be lowered gently to the ground. And underneath I've got a long threaded dowel just to really ease with pulling it out in a straight line. But uh, it's just a case of now pulling off the dowel pegs that fitted and then lowering it down to the ground. Slowly lowering. As you can see it's quite easy to turn. Uh, and slowly the gearbox is lowering. Halfway there now, just uh, lowering it. Still very easy to move. You can just see the clutch behind it. I've got a jack under it. Just as a steady really, but it's actually not on the jack, but just in case. And uh, slowly going down. Right, the gearbox is almost completely lowered here. Just go underneath and just show you how easy it is to move the gearbox. It's suspended on the threaded rod and it's nearly down to the ground, so it's very easy to manoeuvre to say it's a considerable weight uh, without any jack or anything. Well, this is the view of the gearbox when it's out and with the new slave cylinder fitted and you can clearly see the 10mm bolt that fastens the metal plate to the gearbox which has to be removed earlier and it doesn't say this any, in any manuals but this bolt from the other side must be removed before the gearbox is pulled away from the engine. 